Hi, I'm Susan Taylor with Scripps Health in San Diego, California. The tricuspid valve is one of four valves in the heart, and it helps blood flow in the right direction out of the heart and into the body. But if the valve leaks, blood flows backwards, and that could lead to heart failure. But there are some minimally invasive devices to treat this condition, which is great, because a lot of folks with this leaky valve can't handle open heart surgery. Joining us to talk about this is Dr. Matthew Price. He's an interventional cardiologist with the Scripps Clinic Medical Group in La Jolla, California. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. So I'm um, going to a little bit more detail. What is this tricuspid valve and how does it work? So the tricuspid valve is a valve that separates the veins in your body from one of the pumping chambers of the heart that pumps the blood to the lungs. And what happens um, if it leaks? When the valve leaks, when the heart squeezes or contracts, blood goes backwards away from your lungs towards your veins, which can be a bad thing. And how many people have this condition? About 1.6 million people have this condition to varying degrees. So what are the symptoms? There are some classic signs and symptoms about having a very leaky tricuspid valve. Swelling of the legs, not feeling hungry, problems with your liver. When you walk, not having energy, really just having the blahs is the most common symptom of severe tricuspid regurgitation. And why is open heart surgery not an option? Well, surgery on the tricuspid valve alone, only on the tricuspid valve, is a very high risk operation because it puts a lot of pressure on the side of the heart where that valve is. So we've learned that people undergoing surgery just to fix the tricuspid valve alone are at high risk of doing really poorly after the operation. And it's not only because of the operation itself, it's because when people have a very leaky valve, they become very frail and may not tolerate the surgery. Let's talk about these minimally invasive devices. What are they and how do they work? Well, we now have two devices that we can use to repair or replace the tricuspid valve so that it is no longer leaky. The first device is called the triclip. And the triclip is a, it's like a clothespin almost. It, it is a little clip that, that opens and closes. Oh. You see here that yeah. I can put this in the heart and using this clip, cinch together the leaflets where they're leaky bring them together so that when the valve closes, it seals rather than being wide open and leak. And this has been shown in a big study to improve people's quality of life and keep them out of the hospital after the procedure, even if they're on good medications. And then what's the other device? Well, while this clip repairs the valve, so your, your own valve is still doing the work, we have a device can, that can actually replace your valve. This is a tricuspid valve replacement device. So this can be collapsed inside of a tube and placed inside your heart and then expanded right where your old tricuspid valve is and takes over the function of your old valve. And this has been shown in a large study to also improve the leaky valve and improve patient's quality of life. So is the patient hospitalized for these procedures? For a short period of time. So after the triclip repair procedure, most people can go home the next day. After the valve procedure, patients are in the hospital usually from anywhere between two and, and four days after the procedure. And how long do these procedures take? So surprisingly short. So a triclip procedure can take maybe two to three hours, as can the valve procedure. And the, a lot of the procedure is setting things up. The actual action of putting in the valve or putting in the clips themselves takes shorter. Hmm. Now, this is compared to, say, open heart surgery, 
where patients can be in the hospital for weeks and the procedures can be very long. So not only have these devices, this clip and this valve been shown to improve or, re or fix the leakiness and improve people's quality of life, it's much safer than surgery and gets you out of the hospital much quicker. Much quicker. And how long um, before patients can resume their normal activities after they've had these devices implanted in them? The only thing that's limiting a patient's activity after one of these procedures is where we introduce our catheters to get to the heart. And we do that through the vein in your hip area. So we just ask patients not to lift anything heavy for about a week uh, and not to go in the ocean for our ocean dwellers here in, in San Diego for about a week to protect that area. But other than that, there's really no limitations, which is another really miraculous thing about these procedures. So you could get back to playing tennis or running or golf, you know, doing running around with the grandkids. I mean, whatever you want to do, that's pretty much everything you can do. Correct. So I would say that a lot of these patients who are, have a severe leaky valve can get pretty debilitated. So the idea is to get them back to the tennis court in the weeks <laughs> to follow after the procedure or more like the pickleball court here in San Diego. <laughs> um, you were actually involved in the clinical trial for one of these devices. Yeah, right. both of them. Yes, both yes. of them, really. That's incredible. And and once you put the device in, um, is it there then for the rest of your life, or does the device has to be replaced in five or ten or fifteen years? Yeah. Well, first, we're lucky that Scripps is really a leader in these novel devices. So we were a leader in the trials of the clip and the valve, um, and have done more cases than, than most hospitals in the United States or the world. Um, and so to answer your question, so once they're in, they're in. They're not gonna come out again. Why are these devices such a game changer, doctor? Well, in the past, we really had very few options for people who had a severely leaky valve that was causing them problems, really only open heart surgery. And some medicines, which really, help, but don't help enough. So now we have options for our patients that can improve their quality of life, keep them out of the hospital in a much safer way. Any final thoughts, doctor? I would say that it's a really exciting time to be an interventional cardiologist because now we have options to offer our patients who have a severely leaky tricuspid valve, where in the past, we only had water pills and surgery, and now we have these minimally invasive options that can fix the leakiness, improve patients' quality of life, and keep them out of the hospital. Doctor, thanks so much for being with us. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. If you'd like more information on how to treat a leaky tricuspid valve using this minimally invasive surgery, just click on the link or go to scripts.org forward slash videos. Want more critical information about your health? Please subscribe to our Scripps Health YouTube channel and follow us on social media at Scripps Health. At Scripps, we're here for good. I'm Susan Taylor. Thanks for joining us.